I'm very grateful to TopTech for sending me this premium camera for review. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand if this camera is the right fit for you or if there's other alternatives for you to use as an astro camera with your telescope. Furthermore, you will understand very well what makes this camera so special. After a long time testing it, I have some hidden secrets to reveal you, as well as the results of imaging with this camera. March 2024 We are watching the sun in real time. Me, Starguy, Chris Green and Douglas with our solar setups. Four telescopes pointing to the sun. But the sun is about to get crazy and to release multiple massive kernel mass ejections to the earth. And in the chat, Chuck asked me about Tuptec cameras. Tuptec cameras? No, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. If it had a much different price, the, I still think the same. It's incredible. I still think that the 294, it's the, it has the best relationship quality with price. But if I could, hey, I may upgrade one day. It's not out of question. I wish they had the same price the lower price. While I'm not very interested right now, the explorers in the chat keep insisting in TubeTech cameras. I'm focused on the solar massive activity. G4, red alert. But they insist again and again. The cameras are cheaper, the TubeTech are cheaper than ZWO, uses the same software as Player One. They do standard fan cooled and Peltier cooled versions. <laughs> So you go, they just came out with a model which is uh, the size of the 2600. Who? Today, I mean, I, I saw an announcement today uh, for that, that brand. What they brand? They just came out with a comparable for the 2600. But what brand? What brand? Uh, the brand you just mentioned. Toptech. Uptech. Okay, let's check. Let me see the specs. It was using the new Sony sensor, uh, 4,000 by 6,000 pixels. Well, I have to check it. Everybody likes to, to buy gear, and I like as well as everybody. Every gear that we buy, whatever it is, even if it's an adapter or a filter or whatever, we have that feeling, waiting for the gear to arrive, then uh, we wait for the clouds to go, then we want to test it with the, the telescope and that builds up some anxiety, a uh, positive one, in us. But now that I'm alone, I can't stop thinking about it. I will contact TubeTech right away. It's my dream camera and I want it so badly. And a couple of days after we have the approval, I can't believe that I will own the best camera on the market right now. But there's a problem. They're improving this model so we can have an even better camera with the latest modern electronics on it. Therefore, I have to wait. Anxiety builds up as the days pass, but I trust their word. And they finally improved the camera. Now it's cleaner than ever, without a noise or any bands. Perfect. It has arrived! Look at this. Look at this beauty. This is a, a package. This is the real package. Is this a, a numbers safety lock? This is a real camera. This is a real camera. Huh? IMX 410. Dream camera, dream camera, thank you so much, Top Tech. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Very nice, very nice for from you to send me this amazing camera. And not only that one, but this one as well. This one as well. This will be for the Virtuoso. It's so so small that we can insert it in the Virtuoso. And not only that, but the filter drawer. This is a package. Look at this beauty. M54. And with one, and two, and three additional drawers. 
I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky man. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Top Tech, Top Tech. Top Tech Astro. Check, did you receive the R's already? <laughs> look at this beauty, look at this beauty, look at this beauty. It's huge. It's huge. Cap. Huge! Look at this beauty, look at this beauty. Shh, it's mine. My precious camera! My precious! When you ask me, well, Tiago, you have the 294, you have the 224, the first one. Don't you want to upgrade, buy a new camera? And I said, no. I will just upgrade if I can have my dream camera which is the 410 and why tiago why the 410 why the 410 and not the the 410 is the same as the 2400 from the other brand why the 410 and not the 2600 because one simple reason because this camera this camera the imx 410 has larger pixels and it was one of the reasons I chose the 294 as well. For Newtonians, for longer focal lengths, you will have a better match in the pixel scale. One arc second per pixel. I have in dobsonianpower.com a very, very good and compact article. There you can understand with the tables and you can make the simulation if you are working oversampling or undersampling. It turns the job much easier, especially for EAA. It's what I do here in the live streams. Actually, tonight we will try this camera, but I need to make it work. And this one, the 294, it's a large pixel already. It's 4.63. This one is almost 6. So let's say it's 6. For 6, pixel size to 6, it will fit perfect in my Dobsonian telescopes, 12 inch and 8 inch it will be the where i will use this camera so for newtonians it's better there's no such a thing i insist there's no such a thing as this camera is better because it has larger pixel size or this other camera is better because it has smaller pixel size there's no such a thing that's a myth that's a myth that's a myth the better camera to match your telescope in terms of pixel scale, it's the one that will bring you near one arc second per pixel. Not undersampling and not oversampling. Usually the Newtonians, we oversample. So the stars get bloated. There's a, that article and a video, I made a video about it. Very good for you to learn that. And of course, the larger the sensor, the better. Because in my setups, I can plate solve much better, much faster. It's one advantage. I can fit larger objects. That's a, a logic and natural advantage that we have from larger sensors. They are more expensive. If you have a graphic with the price of the cameras and the size of the sensor, it's directly proportional. You will see two curves rising at the same, more or less, in pair. Okay, the larger the sensor, usually the, the more expensive is the camera. Now, I will have a huge problem with this camera as I would have with a 2600, as I have already, not so hard, but I have already with a 294, with my Newtonians. It's the vignetting, the vignetting circle. This one has a strong vignetting. Usually people that use this kind of cameras full frame they do flats they do usually they buy to astrophotography but I'm I'm getting this camera for EAA I told the uh, top tech that they know that I'm not an astrophotographer no look I will use this only for EAA I do a quick astrophotography but the good news is whatever I will do tonight and the in the future because i will use this camera most of the time whatever i do or whatever is my result 
you will, if you do astrophotography, you will get much better results because you will enter in the part of post-processment, which I don't do. What I will do during my sessions with EAA will be to what I usually do with the 294. It's to crop the images and during the live session to zoom the image so I can uh, fit better and I will get rid of the vignette. Another thing, using my Nexus, Tarzana Nexus, Focal Reducer and Comma Corrector, this tool is amazing but it will lead to boosting the vignette. I woke up today, I woke up with a guy from FedEx, very fast shipping, very, very good uh, work from, from Top Tech. They sent from China on uh, Friday. <clears throat> it was the weekend. We had holidays. We had uh, the 1st of May holiday. And today arrived right on time, the time that was planned very very fast to europe but tell me tiago why didn't you wait a bit or try to get a deal from zwo with a new camera they presented on the um, the neef exhibition because that camera although it has a, a smaller pixel size which for you is not so good but it has the advantage of being a compact system with the azr included with um, the cooler and uh, the guiding camera as well. Well, I tell you why. First, because I prefer Toptech. Blue team, blue team, blue team here. First, because I prefer Toptech. Then, I prefer the prices that Toptech has. I don't make guiding, I do EAA. So I'm not interesting, interested in guide, anything. It will be one more thing there, redundant, useless to me. Then I don't use Azier, I don't plan to use. If I use in the future um, a hub, it will be in a camera, a top tech camera. Blue team. It will be from the blue team that doesn't lock you to the ecosystem. You can use a top tech camera with uh, other um, components from other brands while if you use azier you are locked to that brand and then if you want something to use with the azier from other brands you can't then those extra features can be a problem and you that do astrophotography and use loads of equipment i will tell you why if you use an azier or another uh, remote pc if you use a camera that remote pc and a guide camera. If you have a problem with a guide camera, you can replace it for an, an inexpensive uh, fee. If you have a problem with a PC, you can replace the PC. But you still have operational, the camera, an expensive one, likely, and the guiding camera. Are you getting? If you have a problem with that compact camera, you will have a problem with three features another reason is the weight because i would have much more weight at the top of my dobsonians this one is already heavy this one imagine a compact one with an azr here and uh, a guiding camera then it is likely that the cooling system well i don't know if it can handle but for sure having the azr there the electronics will warm up more the device it's not only the camera, it's a camera, an astro, uh, a guiding camera and the AZR there pushing. So it's another potential problem. So it, I went straight away and the price, of course, and the price, the price. <laughs> oh God, the price, the price of Top Tech, the price, what everybody loves. Okay, you say, oh, but that one that you have, it's expensive. Yes, it is, 2,400. 2400 2400 bucks it's not for a beginner this is for someone that wants to level up the camera that they have but they have for instance the 294 for 799 when somebody asked me tiago i i'm in doubt i don't know if i should buy the 294 or the 5333 and i always answer always answer First, I ask for the telescope they have, and usually 
the Newtonians. It's a better fit for Newtonians because of the pixel size. The 294 has a larger pixel size, it's better for Newtonians in general. And then it has a, a slightly larger field of view. While the 533 it's a square, the 294 has a, it's a rectangle. It has a, a, a better field of view. It doesn't look too much, but using flats and everything, you can fit the Lagoon Nebula, for instance, a good part of the Andromeda Galaxy and the other galaxies and nebulae that are super large, which usually are better for refractors. Okay? Look, I will open the sensor. Let's watch the sensor. This is huge, look at this. <laughs> of course, I made a full sensor analysis and it matched perfectly the camera specifications on TubeTech website. And now let's see the results with the camera. As I only do electronically assisted astronomy, which consists in watching the sky objects in real time, I will ask for help to my explorers, the Dobsonian power community. As I use Dobsonian telescopes over an equatorial platform, the tracking is not very good. And the short exposures with a short integration time will not help their work. However, the good news for you is that everything you can see here, you can massively improve it if you use a mount with more precise tracking. I also got some non-processed pictures, just taking a simple snapshot of my real-time views. But using just 8 second exposures and a maximum of 15 minutes in total, 